Hey everyone, it's Joe Carter here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to package time on the floor. <laughs> I am not in my usual chair. The angle maybe looks kind of funny, but we're going to roll with it because my chair wasn't in here and I couldn't be bothered to grab it. Clearly, I could be bothered to do my hair and some lipstick, but I didn't want to get my chair. So today it's going to be a haul which is generally what you normally call it, not package time. But I've got a couple partials to open. Some involve books, but a lot of the stuff doesn't. It's not going to be very long, but I just thought that this would be fun. I've been, this is the books that I'll have a vlog up. I am really desperate to read these books that are in here. and I've been waiting so long to get them. It's Saturday night as I'm filming this and I got them on Friday. So I'm surprised I've actually been able to hold off to open them until now. But it's sort of one of those things when I'm waiting for the mail to come, I'm really excited. And when it did come, I was like, cool, they're here. I'm good. <laughs> and I'm also in the middle of another book. But let's open these up. No! Oh my god! No, 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 no! This is not the cover that I wanted! I know this happened, but I got I, This does happen, but I got them off eBay. This is not gonna slide. I've just got my laptop here. I'm just, I'm just gonna have a look. Because I know that booksellers will often have an illustrative picture, but I... <laughs> and they quite often will have, you know, like the just the book picture itself and it's not a photo of the actual book, but like, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, I'll insert a picture, if you can't, you can't, I'm going to insert a picture. They look like they've been taken, no this is not, no, 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 because they have actually been photographed, like the actual books, like it's not an image off Google where it's just the book itself, it is an actual photograph of the physical books. No, this is, yeah, because sometimes they'll also be like, this is, this is, you know, not, the cover's not going to be correct or whatever. Contact seller. Okay. Alright. I feel like a chaotic person. <laughs> my battery died. And I'm not, I'm back in my bedroom again. I was going to do this as a part of a reading vlog, but I think I might just have it be like a real life haul that it doesn't always work. I've sent them a message under item not as described because it's not a stock image. That's not fair. Like they can't. Yeah. So I want to at least get my money back, but I would be okay with getting, I want, I want those editions of it, man. Like. I would be okay with shipping back the books. I don't know if I want to pay for shipping though. Like it's all the way to the UK. This is not me. This is them. Alright. <laughs> I know it's not always as pictured. But when it's like. You guys have seen it. I'll have inserted it. When it is a picture taken on someone's coffee table. Or some kind of table. And not a stock image. You think that's what you're going to get. So I'm going to open my other box. With me scissors. This is the portion of the vlog where all the video where it's not bookish related, but it's kind of like environmental. So I'm trying to be a good human and look after the environment. And if you guys are interested, here's some things that I got. So it's from a store called Biome. It's an Australian store. Like it's like a platform where all these different, like, eco-friendly non-toxic things are so the first thing I got was some tinted all-day cream so I'll show you that there sun and earth natural zinc sand SPF 30 so I am running out of my face cream with SPF and 
what I'm trying to do with all my skincare is, and any kind of beauty products, is each time I run out of something and I don't have another one, I want to replace it with a plastic free alternative. So this is like a metal can. I'm a bit, this is actually a lot bigger than I was expecting. Um, that's what it looks like. I won't be using it, so I can't tell you guys if it's good or not until I start using it because I'm still running out of my other stuff. But it's actually a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. I get a bit scared with these stuff that it's not always like value for money. But then also same with like purchasing ethical made things. We're so used to cheapness because of the way that like companies are uh, shitty working conditions and shitty packaging and they don't look after anything. That stuff is actually expensive. It's just that usually we don't pay someone a minimum wage or we use a product in the packaging that harms the environment. Like, for the record, my personal opinion's not backed up by science, but my opinion is that I'm sure there is science out there that knows how to reuse plastic or a plastic-free alternative that doesn't harm the environment, but nobody i.e. the big coal companies that control everything, they don't want to do the work. So it's up to the little guys like me. And then I also got something a bit less exciting, but I really needed one and I've been waiting for the day that my underwear, clothes peg, underwear and socks died and I decided to get, okay, so there's some rope tying it together with my scissors go. I wanted to get a stainless steel one and I got... The, it's not marine grade, but it is outdoor grade. So I can just, because I'm lazy, I so I got the better quality one that cost a bit of money so that I can just leave it outside all the live long day and it won't matter. So I've been my, one of my plastic ones, I've got two, but one finally died and we need two. So I've got this. And, and the last thing I want to show you guys is my new plant. I know how to, let me take this out. Okay, so it's a spiderwort. Look at the cute little flower it's got already. The um, I bought this from work, but the sales lady, Emma, who is a doll, she saw me bring this one up to the register and she was like, oh, there's a better one that's like growing a little flower and has new leaves. So she gave me that. Spiderwort is commonly known as a wandering dude. I love these. It's going to grow really like well, hopefully over the years. There's an episode in The Big Bang Theory, I think in the later ones in um, Penny's apartment, there's a ginormous one of these and I just love the colour and it's like, I don't know if I can show you, but it's like shiny, the leaves. I don't know how, like I don't, I don't think it's showing you really well, but I just think that these are gorgeous plants. I know they're a weed, <laughs> but it'll be kept in a pot. Inside is an indoor plant. I think I'm going to have it sitting on top of my kitchen cabinets because we've got a lot of empty space at the moment before we renovate however many years down the track. So thank you for staying to the end of my haul. This has been really frustrating. I literally could not believe it when I opened that box. It's like, man, it's just, I don't know. I, I'm not a bookseller, but I feel like if you're not using a stock image, you should send what you've actually taken a picture of. It's not fair. Or you should just write in your text. You can copy and paste into every listing. Book's not as pictured. It's not hard. <laughs> so disappointed. Probably I think what will happen is, I'm sure I'll tell you guys in like a reading blog or something like that, but I think I will just get my money back and then just read the copies. And it's like, I don't want to be like, I don't know what to call it, bookist book coverist like you know racist but like I don't want to hate the book like it's not the book's fault that it's covered like this I was just looking for a particular edition I can be picky enough that way like I don't buy books all the time I can afford to spend a little bit more money to get the editions that I want I just need the booksellers to help me out <laughs> so I'm gonna go thanks everybody so much for watching this can you please let me know if you've had any experiences like this I would love to see that and to make myself feel a bit better thank you so much for continuing to follow my journey I post videos midweek and on the weekends thanks so much I'll see you guys again soon don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have enjoyed this and I'll see you all again next time bye